What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 Showdown Live. And today I have a painful video, that's why we're gonna try to keep it short. I am going to try to build a team using every single weather available in the game. As you know, there is sun, rain, sand, and hail. And I guess no weather. Cast form isn't in the game, so we can't even go with that gimmick. So I just, I, I mean, we're going to keep it short and simple. I'm going to try to build a team with this and we're going to play like three games and I'm going to see if I can even get one win because Kyogre and Groudon conceptually, they can work together. We know that they can work together. They're just not ideal in a lot of cases. Tyranitar is straight up just annihilated by Kyogre, Groudon, even Calyrex Ice to an extent and Zacian especially. Like it just gets destroyed. Ninetales, same issue, has to fight for weather and the only thing that makes it good is that weather. So we're going to do our best here. I'm just going to go ahead and get that out of the way. Light clay. There we go. And yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. And that's my comment question of the day. What weather do you wish was more viable and competitive? I am a big hail enthusiast. I just think it's very bad. So yeah. All right. So here's the difficult part about this. I have to not only use this weather, but the only way to make it like super good is by having an abuser for it. And as far as I'm aware, there aren't very many Pokemon that can take advantage of like every one of these things. I mean, Heliolisk technically is ambiguous enough where I can mess with people with dry skin or solar power, but I'm probably just going to go with solar power if, I, if anything. I will say though, if I want to get carried, I'm going to go ahead and go with Venusaur. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just go with Venusaur here. We already know Venusaur is absolutely busted under uh, Sun. Uh, it can function with... Um, with light clay up maybe i'll actually go with like maybe we'll go with like a weakness policy set you know maybe maybe that actually that might be a little nasty i'm gonna go with that actually hold on i'm gonna steal my bulky venusaur set that i already use in like every single team ever and just put it here but it's gonna be weakness policy instead and we're just gonna do that and i'm gonna go ahead and give it weather ball as well since we're running since we're running with uh quad weather uh so weather balls on there sleeps yeah okay I'm going to throw a weakness policy on you. I'm going to go ahead and scarf my Kyogre as God intended it. I'm going to like, we are literally just phoning this in as much as possible because the only way we're going to get through this is with actually, it should be timid is by just getting lucky with our, with our matchups. <laughs> I can tell you that much. We're going to have to get lucky with our matchups. Uh, Origin pulse. Let's go with uh, ice beam and I suppose thunder since we're scarf anyways. Our last Pokemon, I'm not really certain what I want to do for Groudon. I'm just going to lift a, a spread that I run on like every single team anyways. We're going to go with the uh, wider Groudon set. Since uh, it helps out quite a bit with the whole Intimidate thing that's super common in the format. Now, as for these guys, I know for a fact I'm just going to want to do this. I'm going to max out the special attack. Typically, you would actually make this thing a little bit more bulky, uh, but I'm not going to bother with that. Blizzard... It does get Hypnosis, so I'm going to try to cheese that. Uh, we'll go with Moonblast, and let me think. I mean, obviously, not, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Yeah, Aurora Veil. Maybe I'll drop, maybe I'll drop Moonblast for Protect. I definitely want this guy to beat Calyrex Ice somehow. Um, let's go with Lash Out. Let me think. I can just Assault Vest this guy, to be honest. And I would actually help out quite a bit with the Kyogre matchup. Lash out, uh, Rock Slide. Is Bulldoze really helpful? I can go for, like, Bulldoze Protect stuff. Uh, yeah, I suppose the Speed Control is going to be kind of nice. Bulldoze, Lash out, Rock Slide, uh, Protect. Oh, no, what am I saying? I'm Assault Vest. For my last move, uh, let me think what is really problematic in this format. Honestly, like I have no idea what I'm doing as far as team building goes. Like quad weather is just objectively a bad idea. I suppose if I really want to make sure this guy's covering as much stuff as possible, I could give him... Is Max Lightning even worth it? It's definitely not. Because he's going to be like a Dynamax user if anything. Let's also just do this. This isn't the most in-depth team building process I know, but uh, this should still be an interesting thing to do, you know? Just, it's just an interesting concept for a team. Uh, it's not going to be good at all, though. Maybe Foul Play actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Foul Play would be kind of nice. Yeah, I'll just go High Horsepower. 
And for our final Pokemon, Incineroar, because it's the objective correct, like, choice here. Like, what else am I going to use? I suppose I could also try, like, Landers, but I think Incineroar is definitely just going to be the best option uh, for obvious reasons. You know, the fact that it's able to actually deal with Zacian, which my team doesn't like very much. I have, like, three Zacian weak Pokemon, and Venusaur counts as a Zacian weak Pokemon, in my opinion. It's not great versus it. Let me think. Um... Yeah, I mean, like, I could try to do, like, Ninetales, Venusaur stuff, like, set up a weakness policy with Snow Warning and uh, Aurora Veil. All right. Now is the painful part. We've built the team in, like, five minutes or less, and we have to now hit the ladder, and my goal is to get two wins. This is my goal. Nice short and sweet video. I saw someone else try this. I think it was Brady Mercury tried this out, uh, and... I don't know if it went well. I didn't <laughs> I didn't watch the whole video. I'm like, I don't want to watch quad weather. I know it's going to be painful. Okay. So, I should be able to get off a of Veil here if I go Ninetales, Incineroar. And then in the back, I'm just going to go Groudon, Venusaur. Because Groudon does pretty well into this team. I only need the Hail to get my, my Veil up, you know. And then, and then this thing's job is done. Yeah, just like that, this thing's job is done. Uh, I'll go ahead and get the Aurora Veil off, as well as a Fake Out into you. Electroweb, that's fine. Actually, I'm pretty happy with this. I can just go for a Blizzard now, and a Flare Blitz. That's pretty safe. Go ahead and Electroweb me, like I'm just trying to get off the field next turn anyways. Yeah, nice. Okay. Now this part's a little bit tricky. Um, check this out. Check this out. Hold on. How much did the Electroweb do? 49% with the crit. How much did I do without it? 30%. So I'm not living that. Um, I could get in my Groudon here. And just attempt a parting shot. On the Mamo. Nice. They do, they do go for the high horsepower, but now I have my Venusaur on the field. Things are about to get a little saucy. Things are about to get a little saucy. Let me go ahead and go for the P-Blades. And since I have Veil up, I'm like fine just to Vine Lash here. I'm going to do it for the Vine. I really expected them just to protect there, to be honest. Alright. And there's Eveltal. I'm pretty sure I just win by virtue of I have Vine Lashed you. Let's go for the use. Wow, that is very Assault Vested. He goes for the Airstream. I'm going to live that. I'm going to get my Weakness Policy off. I'm going to go for the Rock Slide. That does some, you know, decent damage. Uh, I'm going to go for another Rock Slide and just a Max Flare. And there we go. We won. We won. We got one win already. We're already starting off pretty strong. This team sucks. All right. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Okay, so... All the dragons are here. You know, Kyurem Black counts as two dragons, and we have a Rush Um, I definitely hate uh, Whimsicott plus Kyurem White, but I don't hate Whimsicott plus Kyurem Black as much as I, I would that. I'm going to say my Veil is going to be very useful once more. Um, Groudon definitely wants to show up to this match. Let's just do that. Let's just go Venusaur again. Actually, no. Wait, is this the matchup where Tyranitar does something? Question mark? Is this the matchup where I just go ham with a Tyranitar? Let's go for it. Uh, okay. I'm going to go Incineroar. I'm going to go Tyranitar. And I'm going to go... Do I go Groudon? I kind of want to go Kyogre. Okay, this is the matchup where I do something. Let me go for my Veil. Let me go for my Fake Out. It's so funny how good Tyranitar is in formats without Kyogre and Groudon, and then as soon as Kyogre and Groudon exist, Tyranitar's usage just drops below zero. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to get my Veil off. They go for the Quake. It does less than 50%, which is actually phenomenal for me. I'm going to go ahead and attempt a Hypnosis on you, as well as a Parting Shot, and that'd be hilarious if I get either one of these off. 
That'd just be baller, you know? Did I get my nine tails in nature? I feel like I didn't. I did. Okay, good. Helping hand. Oh, he's going for it. Hey, let's go. All right. It's your time to shine, Titar. It is your time to shine. Let me blizzard here. I'm definitely going to land it. 100% going to land it. No way I don't. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm just happy I'm just trolling this guy at this point. I'm doing a little bit of trolling. Tailwind, not that it matters. I connect on the Whimsicott. That's awesome. And you're not going to like this. Okay. And here I'm just going to Blizzard again. And I'm going to go for a Max Quake. Because whatever I Max Quake, it's worth it. They protect. Fusion Flare does nothing. Thank you. And now you gotta deal with a, an Assault Vest T-Tar at like plus a million special defense. This thing's AV, it's at plus one, it's got Veil up, the sand is up. Hit me with a special move and watch it do nothing. I might Moonblast myself just for fun. Cure in black. Okay, check this out. Hypnosis, max rockfall. Gaming. I still have four turns of veil, which is awesome. If I connect this hypnosis, they're gonna be big mad. Actually, real talk, I should just double. Just to ensure this thing goes down. Yeah, it did nothing. Andy's a life orb. Andy's stinky. And it's gone. In comes Kyogre, Water Spout, High Horsepower, good game. Good game. Imagine losing the Tyranitar in this format. That's not a slide at my opponent. I'm saying actually imagine losing the Tyranitar in this format. Like, oh my god. <laughs> If I faced a Tyranitar, I'd panic. I'd be like, I know he's good. He's just not good right now. He's thinking about it. He's like, man, how did I get here? Go ahead, sir. Click your move. Okay. All right. He's going to take your time. All right. And go game. GG. <laughs> All right. You know what's funny? We're like mid ladder too. Like 1333 is not a low ladder. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I actually very much enjoy the fact that I can likely get this off. If I get my veil off, this team actually kind of goes crazy. Uh, I'm going to go Tyranitar again and Groudon. And that actually ruins them. If, if they let me get off my veil, it's over. It's Ogre, in fact. Not that I'm bringing my Ogre. I'm not. They're like, how are you going to win? Your whole team's weak to this. I know a guy. I know, I know a way I can win this. I know, oh yeah, they're just going to let me get this off, aren't they? They're just going to let me get this off. Let me get that Veil. Actually, you know what? They're just going to switch. I guarantee you, they're just going to switch in the Kyogre right now. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Blizzard, and I'm going to Parting Shot. Go ahead, get in your Kyogre. They... They, they were just going to let me. They were just going to let me. Hello? Can I get it now? Can I get it now? That'd be kind of cool. I, I honestly didn't think they were just going to let me. Oh, they're just going to let me. Yo? Yo, physical finny? Yo? And the veil? Oh no, we didn't get the veil off. Man. Man. Kidding me. Okay. Alright, well I might I might get swept by physical finny today.
I mean, it's not going to do that much damage. Alright, now it's going to do that much damage. Oh, yo, we live? Moonblast. Max Quake. Poggers, poggers. Uh, let me go for this Moonblast and a Protect here. That'd actually be great. Live? Thank you. Ah, they knew what they were doing. Okay. Now that the sand's up, I feel a little bit better about this. I'm definitely just going to lose. Uh, <laughs> let me go for the Rock Slide and the uh, Max Quake into you. I didn't expect them to let me get off the, uh, the thing, but they did. And I gotta hold that. Alright, good game. Honestly, I mean, I didn't expect to even get one win today. Let's see if I can get another. I'm two wins deep, one one loss. Let's see if I can go three and one. Let's see if I can just end the video at three and one. That'd be great. Okay, so they do have weather, they do have pranksters, and they do have a mushroom. How am I gonna do this? You might be wondering. Um, I'm also wondering that actually. I'm also wondering that right now. Let's do this. I'm gonna want to bring my Grot on, and I think I'm just gonna bring the Venusaur here. I definitely think I want to Dynamax my Venusaur. Like with Veil up, Venusaur could win me the whole game. All right, so Veil's not going up. Veil's just straight up not going up. Um, Drizzle went second, so I actually can. Try to cheese this with a hypnosis. I can try to cheese this. Okay. Grim Snarl flinches. Um, I'm gonna say just wanted a thunder wave there. Let me think. I'm gonna attempt it again. Yep, there it is. Okay. Grim Snarl, do your thing. Miss your thunder wave. Okay. There's the fake tears. All right. Um, how much does that matter? Connect on both. I probably don't drop because of how bulky I am. I do drop. Okay, good game. All right, good game. Good game. Dang it. Okay, let's try one more. I'm gonna do one more. I just want to get one more win. Right now we're two and two. Let me go positive. All right, they have no way of like stopping the weather, and Tyranitar actually could go crazy here. Tyranitar could actually go crazy here. I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna bring it, and I'm bring. I'm gonna bring the Groudon. Even though I'm super weak to that, I'm gonna bring the Groudon. Yeah, I mean, like, I always get my Veil off, don't I? And then it's just a matter of cycling. And I have Hypnosis? I might be going crazy this game. I might. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Um, the opposing Incineroar's Intimidate went first. Uh, dang it. Okay. Still gonna go for it. Maybe it's a speed tie. It is. Get my veil off. Uh, let's go for the hypnosis on the mimic you, and I'm gonna parting shot the incineroar. Actually, maybe I just double down this. Ah, I could have hypnosis the mimic you. All right, let's get in my. Tyranitar here. Let's see parting shots of that. Hypnosis? Let's go! <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go for another Hypnosis in the Calyrex Ice. And I'm actually going to get in my Incineroar here. Since I should always live.
I should live everything this Calyrex Ice wants to go for, and if I Hypnosis it on a Dynamax turn, it's over. They maxed the Palkia, hello? Alright, go to sleep. No? Okay. I thought I earned that strictly because they decided to Dynamax the Palkia, and I thought that was just like a bad play. I'm gonna Parting Shot the Palkia now, there's no reason not to. I take everything from this Calyrex. I'm gonna get in my Tyranitar, I think is the best play. Maybe Groudon actually. Eh, Tyranitar is still my best play. Yeah, they did nothing. Um, And I think I'm just gonna attempt another Hypnosis. And get back in the Incineroar, since they're just gonna will o -wisp me. Oh no, they can't. I'm stupid. I didn't even notice I landed that. Just how normal it is. Alright. Uh, <laughs> I can probably get a second Veil off. That's kind of funny. Let me go for the Blizzard here. And another Parting Shot in the Palkia. Since they shouldn't stay in. They're never going to KO me. Yep, there's the Cali Ice. I'm going to break this. They get in their Incineroar a little bit too early, in my opinion, and they forfeit. They're just like, oh, it's because I froze the Incineroar, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. This team sucks. You should never use this team. But did it work in today's video? More or less, yes. Could I played it slightly better and not have been memeing in a couple of games? Yes. I think that if you really are good at the game, you can probably get away with this. It's just not ideal, but you can get away with it. So how did our experiment go? I'd consider it a success, kind of-ish. Just don't, just don't use this. Anyways, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.